is leaning in my chest. I can feel this is where we begin. They say a girl dreams about her wedding day her whole life. As a father, I can say that I've dreamed about this day my whole life, but ever since Peter asked for Lauren's hand, I've thought about it a whole lot. Over the last year, I must have listened to Butterfly Kisses a million times in the shower. <laughs> In Butterfly Kisses, the father walks his daughter down the aisle and gives her away. To know that we're giving our Lauren away to someone like Peter has made a hard moment a joyous one. Lauren, one goal of parents is to know that their children are set up for success in life. And today we feel a sense of accomplishment knowing that you and Peter are bound together and committed to building your lives together. It's a new chapter for both of you, and we are excited to watch you grow. Together, it's your life, your dreams, and your goals. Lauren, Lauren and Peter, Peter, we love, love you, you both, and, and wish, wish you a long, healthy happy. life full of, of love, love, laughter, and, and joy. joy. Lauren and I met 10 years ago during our freshman year at Indiana University when we both joined the same sorority, Alpha Phi. After... <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Alpha Phi. <laughs> after, co after college, we lived on opposite coasts, but that didn't stop us. Not a day goes by that we don't talk about one thing or another. Sometimes it's just me calling Lauren to justify an excessive purchase because she's just as bad as I am and will give me the encouragement I need to drain my bank account. <laughs> we share a mutual appreciation for some of the finer things in life, which have led us to taking some amazing trips together and eating at some incredible restaurants. We highly recommend the 20-piece nuggets and McFlurry from McDonald's. <laughs> We can be convinced to spend hundreds of dollars getting slapped around with bamboo sticks if it's advertised as a form of cleansing toxins to then turn around and place that McDonald's right back into our system. Life is about balance and Lauren brings that to mind in a way I am deeply grateful for. I met Peter five years ago last week, shout out to Facebook memories, and they were just friends then. Their inappropriate work relationship hadn't begun. <laughs> It was actually that same trip Lauren and I toured Saddle Rock Ranch as part of the Malibu wine tour. Little do we know that almost five years later to the day, we'd be in that same spot to witness her and Peter get married. Peter, shit. <laughs> Peter, I can't think of a better man for Lauren. I honestly can't think of a better man, period. You compliment and support Lauren in all the ways that matters most. You're always thinking of what else you can do for her and have impeccable taste to keep up with hers. That includes the fine dining. I never thought that my gag gift hot dog maker would become your sole source of meal prep. <laughs> Using it until the day it literally gave out on you. <laughs> Lauren, you're my best friend, confidant, and biggest supporter. Okay, this, this sounds like my vows now. Um, and, and I'm so happy you found someone who makes you so happy and will love and appreciate you for the, amazing, for the amazing woman that you are. Lauren and Peter, I love you both on your own, but I love you together even more. Cheers to many more years of fine dining and romance. If time could stand still, but just slow down. Shaky ground. I don't want to spend a day with 
I wanted to start by defining a Yiddish word, mensch. In simple terms, mensch means a good man, but the true definition is much more than that. A mensch is someone who you can rely on, who will put others before themselves, someone who you want to be around, and at the end of the day, an overall great person. And at the heart of this speech sits a mensch. Peter's a man who I've had the pleasure of growing up with. Yes, we were 18 when we met, but I could promise you we were not grown up. <laughs> During our time in college, Pete exemplified hard work. As our college career continued, Pete became more of a brother than a friend. If Pete was somewhere, I was probably there too. He checked in with me, made sure I got my work done, because as most of you know, I was not a good student. <laughs> and he was there for me whenever I needed advice or support. Those of you who know Pete know how tidy he is, to say the least. He probably woke up this morning, made his hotel bed, his tux has probably been laid out since Wednesday. Little sh shoes and socks that I laid out like a kid getting ready for a school trip. But he could also be quite a mess. Many a nights have I come home with him, a couple deep. He orders a Domino's thin crust pizza, pepperoni pizza that's always found somewhere in the house. Don't even get me started on the Starburst wrappers. <laughs> um, but he always cleans them up. Lauren. I've known Pete a long time, and seeing him with you could not make me happier. When he first told me he started dating a coworker, I was a little bit concerned. <laughs> Plenty could go wrong there. But getting to know you over the years has made me understand why he would risk an uncomfortable situation at the office. You love him for who he is, the organized, fun-loving, candy-eating, review-reading mensch that he is. As his parent from before, sometimes they need a little help with things. After getting to know me, Lauren knows this and has my back just like Pete. When we were planning Peter's bachelor party, Lauren took the reins on booking, knowing full well I would talk, me and Pete would talk about the places we were going, but not actually book it. <laughs> All jokes and stories aside, you two have something special. Something that's obvious to anyone who spends time with you. You love each other deeply and unconditionally, and because I, comp I consider Pete a brother, Lauren, I couldn't be happier to call you a sister. I wish you two nothing but a happy, love-filled life. I love you both. Welcome to the fam, Lauren. Peter, here we are, our wedding day, a place that I think you and I can both agree we've so naturally arrived. After being together for four years, nine months, and 18 days, summing up all my love for you in just a few short minutes seems near impossible. As I began to write my vows to you, I was scrolling through photos of our life together, the adventures and the insane amount of photos we've taken together, because when life is beautiful, it's always been with you in it. 
You came into my life almost five years ago, first as a coworker, then we transitioned to friends, and with some more help of some of our coworkers and friends, <laughs> Lots of laughs and nights out on the rainbow light up dance floor at McTeague's. We became really, really close. You quickly became someone that I loved spending time with. I remember our first conversations were unlike anything I've had with anyone else. But most importantly, you valued and cherished your family, friends, and loved ones above all else. And that you had more hobbies than anyone I had ever met. <laughs> It's always been clear that you were different and someone really special. Our love story happened quickly, but the truth is when you know, you know. Over the past four years, we have grown so much both independently and together. And today I stand in front of a man that I admire, love, respect with all my heart. I fell in love with you long ago, but what has always stood you apart from all the rest is the way that you love me. With you, I feel loved, safe, beautiful, empowered, cherished, respected, and valued. There isn't a day that goes by that I don't feel loved by you, and I promise for the rest of our lives to always make you feel the same in return. I promise to always love you for who you are and never try to change you for something that you're not. I wake up every day and realize how lucky I am that I get to surround myself with you for the rest of my life because you are my best friend, my rock, and your love and adventurous spirit has me hooked for life. Lauren, whenever I hear your name, I cannot help but smile. I think back to when we first met. I was instantly captivated by your beauty, grace, and unwavering confidence. The more time that we spent together, the more I began to realize how lucky I had gotten and how special our bond truly was. Lauren, you give so much of yourself to others and so much of yourself to me. You not only celebrate me with me when I'm winning, but you care for me when I'm hurting. And most importantly, you never stop pushing me to be the best version of myself that I can possibly be. I have no way of knowing what tomorrow will bring but one thing I do know is there is nothing I can't do with you by my side. We are so aligned in our values, loyalty, love for family, and care for one, of one another. When I pause and take a step back from everything amazing going on here tonight, there is not a doubt in my mind that this is exactly where I'm supposed to be in this moment, standing here next to you. I promise to always be there for you always cherish you, always let you watch Real Housewives as much as you want, <laughs> always celebrate you, and always care for you. I promise to never let you down, never make you hurt, never go to bed mad at you, and never ever leave without saying I love you. After tonight, up on this altar, in front of those who love us most, we will have transformed from two amazing individuals who love each other to one strong person, a true family unit. And through everything, all of the challenges, smiles, tears, fits of giggling, good times, bad times, and many, many adventures, I can't picture a moment without you. Your joy and enthusiasm for life makes me ecstatic to share the rest of mine with you. Forever and always, no matter what, I love you. I could continue to stand here and tell you how much I love you, but those words mean nothing unless they are shown through repeated little acts of devotion. I vow to celebrate with you with the, when the Seahawks win and blame Pete Carroll for everything when they lose. <laughs> I vow to keep reminding you that eating hot dogs every day is unhealthy because I want to live long, help, long happy lives by each other's side. <laughs> I vow to always remind you when I'm getting hangry so you can secretly pack snacks everywhere that we go. <laughs> and I vow to never take ourselves too seriously and to just stay immature enough to go on Uber Eats to order McDonald's McFlurries for dessert. But above all else, I promise to always be the best wife and an even better teammate to you. I promise to not let a day go by where you don't know how grateful I am for you and the love that we share. I promise to never, never let us go to bed mad because this life is too short to spend even a second angry at one another. I promise to always inspire you and help you grow as an individual so that we can grow stronger as one. Peter, you are my best friend, my biggest supporter, and the love of my life. 
as I stand here in front of those who love us most. I stand here with zero doubt as my love and commitment to you is infinite. You are my protector, my confidant, my hopes and my dreams, my lover, my soulmate, my everything. Peter, loving you has been the best decision of my entire life. I love you more every single day and becoming your wife is the best decision I've ever made. I love you. Now, if I'm being honest, I would be lying if I said I'm standing here right now completely confident. I have, re I have written and rewritten this speech many times before today, as I found it really hard to keep my composure, but even harder to put all the love I have in my heart for my best friend and sister Lauren. Before I even asked to give a wedding speech, and way before I even found out Lauren was getting married, I often wondered, when did Lauren and I become as close as we are? Naturally, my thoughts begin from when we were kids. However, selfishly, I think those memories are more fun for me, as they usually involve me finding ways to be that no annoying younger brother. But if I had to sing out, single out one memory that I think began our brother and sister bond, and I think we both know the speech would not be complete without it, it would be the night that Ma made that spinach and tomato dish. <laughs> for a quick background for everyone, it wasn't that it was a bad dish, it was that Laura and I didn't want to eat those things when we were growing up. So, we shuffled what we didn't like to the side of our bowls, and when our mom wasn't looking, we signaled to each other that it was safe to feed it to the dogs. <laughs> the ironic thing about this is that I think our mom actually thought that we liked this dish with our clean and empty bowls at the table, since we continued to keep having this dish until we broke it to her what we were doing. <laughs> As we got older, I think our bond grew even stronger when we discovered our love for traveling. I cannot be proud to stand here right now after growing up with Lauren and seeing where she is today. Since the day we were kids, you have always been there for me when I needed advice, a quick laugh, or someone to just talk to. And I'm so thankful to call someone so dedicated to everything she does, so selfless when it comes to the people she loves, and so welcoming to everyone she meets that she always leaves a mark, my sister. I'm even, happier th I'm even happier that you found a guy that makes you so happy, loves adventures in the outdoors as much as you do, and can listen to all your reality television and latest Kardashian news, <laughs> but most importantly, most importantly, loves you as much as I have for 23 years. It's crazy to think that my best friend that's gone through every aspect of life with me is now someone else's half, but I couldn't be happier that it's Peter. Not, not only have I always dreamed of having a brother, but seeing someone bring so much joy into my sister's life, I wouldn't want to call anyone else in the world my brother except you, Peter. I have a really good friend and I have a really good friend named Miles in college who Peter has always reminded me of. Miles is someone that everyone loves, can put a smile on anyone's face the minute he walks into a room, and someone you can always count on for everything. When my friends from school would always ask me what my sister's boyfriend was like, I would always respond with, he's literally just like Miles. And no matter who it was, they would always respond back along the lines of, your sister got a lucky one. And I couldn't agree more. I'm so grateful to have gotten to know you these past few years, Peter, and I cannot wait to see what the next years have in store for us. Now everyone, please raise a glass for the happy couple. As you guys move on to your next chapter together, I hope you both continue to learn and grow as one. May you continue to live your life to the fullest and go on as many adventures as you can. Continue the challenge and grow with each other, and no matter what life throws your way, always remember you will get through it by just loving each other. I love you both.
It genuinely makes me the happiest man alive to be able to stand here and say, ladies and gentlemen, family and friends, on behalf of my wife and I, welcome to our... Welcome to our wedding, and thank you sincerely for sharing this special day with us. It is amazing to see everyone here. Leading up to our wedding, a lot of people asked us what we were most excited about. It was hard for us to pinpoint because there are so many different things to be grateful for, but it truly came down to this exact moment. Looking around tonight and being surrounded by all of the people that we love and care about the most together in one place. Of course, I'd like to turn everybody's attention back to my gorgeous wife and the most beautiful woman in Malibu tonight. <laughs> for those of you who don't know, us men do have dreams for our wedding day when we're younger. We might not think about the flowers, the food, the cake, but we do have dreams. Growing up, I dreamt of marrying a beautiful woman who loved me and supported me for the rest of our lives. This is really what I wanted from a marriage. When I met Lauren, I knew she was different. She cared about me deeply, and the feeling of happiness I get when I'm around her cannot be described. Her as my wife is more than I ever could have hoped for. Lauren, we've created so many memories together over the years from trips to Italy and Belize, holidays with our families, but my favorite is our first ever trip together as a couple to San Diego. Lauren, I think the thing that I love about you the most is not only that you're there for the good times, but you step up even more when life gets difficult and some might shrink. Similarly, similarly, I love the fact that you continually push me to be the best version of myself and always make sure that I'm never satisfied with mediocrity. I still cannot believe how lucky I am that I get to call you my wife and that I get to spend the rest of my life with you. You're my best friend, the number one cook in the kitchen, and the love of my life. So, ladies and gentlemen, please stand and raise your glasses to my, my wife and life, Lauren. 